Well, let's get started, doctors. Welcome to our special interactive live cast for podiatrists. The title, three MIS procedures every podiatrist should start with. So you could build a future-proof podiatry practice. I'm Dr. TJ An. I know uh, we have a lot of new doctors, not the typical crowd and colleagues name that I'm familiar with. So I'm super excited that we have many doctors who probably first time coming into my webinar. This is more like a live cast. So let's get started. We have a special expert panelist tonight, Dr. Larry Best. Um, he practices in Indiana and Dr. Helene Yoon, uh, practice in New, I mean, Hackistown, New Jersey, and Dr. Timothy Shea in uh, California. What's the city again, California? Uh, well, I forgot your city there. Oh, Concord, Concord. Concord, California. All right, these doctors are expert in MIS. They practice, perform MIS procedures every week. However, four and a half years ago, before we met, they were typical open surgeon and kind of start getting annoyed by healthcare system, you know, lose passion in podiatry. But now I brought these three, I'm so proud uh, of these three colleagues that who are now performing MIS every week and helping patients every week for public you know health in their region so i thought you know i would it would be honored to bring them here and then share their uh you know mis um, expertise and provide you value and also answer questions you might have all right let's go what you will discuss today who I'm going to share two golden keys to build a lifestyle podiatry practice. I'm all about you. Of course, yes, patient, but I'm focusing on your emotional well-being, physical well-being. So how can I help you? I'll give you that golden keys to, to build a profitable practice. Three MIS procedures I already told you you should start with. Fund some fundamental concepts of MIS procedures, if MIS is new to you, economic benefits of uh, office-based surgery, and key concepts of for MIS procedures. Because some of you, I, I saw more than half of you probably first time seeing my webinar or live cast. So I practice in Chicago since 2003. And um, I never done MIS until 2014. I was about to quit podiatry because I was just struggling. And, you know, typical uh, private practice, insurance companies start bullying you. And I was just kind of basically resentful. Yet I found MIS and that was my epiphany. And I taught MIS since 2016 at the academy, um, at the show, uh, they opened to MIS um, intro course. So I was teaching since 2017 and until 2019 and COVID has stopped. And I've been helping also our colleagues, not just the MIS, but how to build, you know, practice growth, like profit practice with hybrid concierge model. I wrote a book on that, how to opt out of insurance plan. Um, but that's not the point here. Uh, tonight, we're just going to focus on MIS. So some conferences, I've hosted many MIS, you know, related cadaver lab workshops, private and public. So this was 2018, this was 19, this was 21. Um, I'm going to talk to you more about the upcoming event, but let's move on. So golden key, no surprise, perform MIS procedures. If you haven't done so, or you've been coming to maybe a few cadaver labs and you haven't stopped, um, you're missing out. And I'll kind of prove my point why performing MIS procedures is your golden key. Why MIS? Well, it's a perfect time to develop and improve in these uncertain times. 
you know what I'm talking about uncertain times. So we went through COVID, healthcare system change, venture capitalists start buying off private practices left and right, hospital systems, same thing, gulping up private practices, insurance companies start dominating and bullying our private practices. They'll tell you what to pay, what not to pay, how much they'll pay you, how much they're gonna deny. They're gonna play that game uncertain times. It can make you, this MIS will make you and your practice unique. And you can choose skills that are in high demand by patients, yet lack of supply. Why? Because 90, probably 98% of podiatrists all trained in open surgery. I did same surgical residency in open surgery. So we all on the same ground. Not many people can perform real MIS procedures as of yet. So it's still still blue ocean. So why MIS procedure again? High demand by patient, proven to be effective, which I'm gonna show you a lot of uh, articles and help many patients. I already told you lack of supply. This will position you huge marketing advantage in your block, in your region, in your city minimally invasive for surgery. You will be able to establish a powerful niche. You will help many patients. You will become an authority leader in your region, I told you. And even if you stay in insurance network, there are ways to take huge advantage once you can perform MIS. So rising demand of MIS, there are hundreds of articles published you might have been blindsided because in the United States, again, more predominant open surgery. However, European, South American, Asia, now I'm going to prove it to you. United States soils, MIS is in high demand so that maybe you're in denial, but I, my big purpose of this live cast is to help you open your eyes to the potential possibility instead of just looking at it as someone else's problem, you, you might perhaps seriously consider incorporating MIS in your practice and how much it will help you. So these are all MIS related articles that have been published. If you need any reference, you can email me, uh, I'll, try to give you, you know, the links and stuff so you can read yourself. All of these articles, I'm not going to go into detail. I'm just trying to prove the point that there are articles coming out almost every month now in major uh, foot and ankle related studies. All these articles is minimally invasive, uh, diaphyseal. Di di Diaphyseal osteotomy, DMMO we call it. Picaneal osteotomy in MIS way. Um, this was actually cadaver lab conference by orthopedic foot and ankle surgeons in the United States. And they do it every year now. Dr. Mark Meyerson, I'm sure you guys uh, are familiar with him. He's big uh, foot and ankle in orthopedic world. If you can see in the middle of the pro program highlights, a lot of minimally invasive bunny and correction, etc. And this was a spy shot <laughs> provided by my uh, acquaintance that Mark Meyerson using slide of our MIS textbook. And in fact, that uh, burr that you just saw, that's called Aisham burr that you know my uh, MIS mentor developed for MIS osteotomies. This was Georgia Summit. I got to speak about MIS. This was Twin City, Minnesota uh, conference in 2021. I got to speak on MIS. So why you can see this market change? Value-based healthcare, by the way, guys, um, again, if you have any questions during this presentation, please um, you know, type, type it in the chat box. So market trend, 
value-based healthcare reduces reimbursement for facility-based surgeries. You know what I'm talking about. If you perform surgeries in a hospital, surgery center, what you, what do you get for bunion? Maybe 400, 500, hammer toe, maybe 200. I mean, who wants to do surgery if you get paid $200 for hammer toe? It's, it's a embarrassing and it's almost like disrespectful. And I know those will make you resentful of performing surgeries. However, once you do MIS, there's some crazy segue you can, you can utilize and get paid much better and rightfully, ethically much better. Okay, and market trend number two, insurance network prefers minimum usage of expensive internal hardware fixation system. Now, they, like in major investigation, Lapiplasty, I don't know if you guys saw that at the end of last year, uh, it was all over the internet, you know, over utilizing market uh, manufacturer driven surgical procedure, they get paid five to $8,000 uh, for a fixation system, yet doctors get paid $500. I mean, what's wrong with that? It's crazy long. Patients now aware of minimally invasive surgery as a huge value uh, valid option. And in fact, patients prefer MIS. So again, golden key, you need to seriously consider learning MIS incorporated into your practice. So three MIS procedures you should start with in this uncertain times, right? Number one, soft tissue procedure. Panotomies, capsulotomies, less complicated. I never say uh, easy, but less complicated, something that you can incorporate pretty fast. Digital exostectomy is another one that can be done pretty quickly. You know, learning curve, mild learning curve. Hammer to correction, a little bit more learning curve, but something that you can help so many patients with. Of course, core MIS procedures, you can do first metal osteotomy. These are some of my cases, um, non-fixating internally. We fixate externally with splitting and taping. Another case, again, this is not the point of bunion today. So I'm just gonna, you know, you can see before and after. By the way, I want to hold right here in the chat, in the chat, doctors, what would you do if you're, if you're a doctor, if you're a this patient surgeon, let me open the chat window. I kind of want to see what would you do if this is your patient, put it in the chat box. What's your surgical solution? Amputation. Yeah, that's very common. Who else? What else? Amputation? Would you do it again? This if this was your patient. Hmm. Phalangeal osteotomy and uh, yeah, someone knows MIS. Wait. Okay. I'm gonna move on. This is after. Didn't amputate. It's a pure MIS procedure done, non-fixating, and it's it was done by orthopedic surgeon who learned from my mentor, Dr. Steven Aisha. Okay, so three simple procedures. We talk about anatomy. You know, incision portals, those are important, right? Learning where to make incisions, those are important. This was digital corn. Again, I'm gonna have our expert panel talk more about these procedures. So I'm just gonna go fast. You, you need to make a portal. So you need to learn the right portals and then do the work. Well, before that, create a, so incision, number one. Number two, create a portal. Number three, do your work, soft tissue or bone, anatomy, exostectomy, phalangeal osteotomy, before and after, uh, Taylor's bunion, it's more exostectomy, you shave off bump through right incision. This was a hammer toe before and after. Again, non-fixating, no arthroplasty, no implant. It was all done non-fixating osteotomy and splinting. So, 
Um, that was golden key number one, perform MIS and start with three simple procedures. Number two, perform office space surgery. That is your golden key number two. So I'm going to go fast here. Why MIS? I mean, why office space surgery? Insurance benefits. If insurance company prefers you and they are going to reward you more, at least 30% more. I've seen 100% more in many cases, many insurance companies, even if you're still in network, if you perform exact same procedures in your office. Patient benefit, convenient, comfortable. They don't have to go to hospital and wait for their turn. Less chance of a hospital-based infection. And you will save them huge out-of-pocket cost because patients do not have to pay bills to a hospital. And your benefit, you're gonna future-proof your practice. You don't have no, you no longer have to depend on hospital or facility. And it will open the possibility of opting out of your insurance plan. Again, I'm not going to detail how to opt out. That's not the purpose of this webinar or live cast, but that's one of the top benefits for you if you start performing in your office. And it saves you time, your opportunity cost. Imagine all these hours of commuting to hospital, you know, stuck in traffic, yeah. wait for your turn. Um, someone like yawned like crazy. <laughs> so make sure, Lynn, everybody's muted, okay? So this was, uh, again, part of health insurance premiums going up deductibles going up. So this curve is the deductible for patient. This curve is just for regular inflation and earning. So these only increase 10, six to 20%, yet deductibles has been increased in past like 2011 to 16, 63%. And you know their deductibles keep going up. Right. So once you perform in the office, you are going to save so much money for your patients too. So again, three MIS procedures you perform right now. You can perform right now: soft tissue procedure, digital exostectomy, and hammer toe correction procedure. Okay. So that was my portion, and um, basically, what uh, what we are going to do. I'm going to bring panelists and have each panelist explain to you about these three MIS procedures.